So we're learning more about what happened on January 6th, even as the federal government goes about preparing for the next pro-Trump, pro-insurrection rally scheduled for this Saturday. But this one will be handled very differently under the Biden administration. Let's talk about that because actually preparing to defend our democracy, like justice, matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So the next pro-Trump rally in DC is scheduled for this Saturday, September 18th. And this pro-Trump rally is actually in support of the insurrection and the insurrectionists who perpetrated it. The good news is law enforcement and the Biden administration, the federal government are preparing this time around. Here is how The Hill just reported that story. Headline, Washington ramps up security ahead of September 18 rally. And the article begins, taking no chances, Capitol Police and other law enforcement officials are ramping up security measures ahead of Saturday's rally in Washington. Now, mind you, a rally in Washington to support the pro-Trump insurrectionists who attacked the Capitol earlier in the year. And friends, the fact that law enforcement and the federal government are preparing this time around is a good thing because we're learning more about the so-called law enforcement failures of January 6th. Put a pin in so-called for a moment. A FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request, has recently produced some new information that reinforces how the January 6th attack on the Capitol looks more like an orchestration by the Trump administration than it does a true law enforcement failure. Uh, Washington DC News 4 reporter Scott McFarlane just tweeted this out today about the information that was produced by that FOIA request. Scott tweeted, at 10 a.m. on January 6, the FBI situational report alerted that the crowd of 10,000 waiting for Trump's speech included people with body armor, ballistic helmets, radio equipment, and military-grade backpacks. So, you know, just your average run-of-the-mill political rally. But friends, the Biden administration, the law enforcement agencies, the federal government will make sure that Washington, D.C. is ready for Saturday's insurrection fest. And it's a good thing they're taking these precautions because it looks like some folks may be showing up a little early for this insurrection. This from a U.S. Capitol Police press release earlier today. U.S. Capitol Police officers arrest California man with bayonet and machete. And here's how that was reported out today by the New York Post. The United States Capitol Police have arrested Donald Craighead, 44, of California, outside the Democratic National Committee headquarters after officers observed a bayonet and machete in his vehicle in the early morning hours of Monday. That's today. Oh, and by the way, the truck that this Donald Craighead was driving was adorned with, quote, an American flag in the place of a license plate and a swastika and other white supremacist symbols painted on it. So, you know, maybe Donald Craighead was just showing up fashionably early for Saturday's insurrection palooza. And still, we wait to hear from the Department of Justice about its work to hold accountable the insider-in-chief.
right? The one who led the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, Donald Trump. We'll keep waiting and we'll keep punching. We'll keep fighting for justice because justice matters. Friends, as always, thank you for tuning in to these Daily Justice Matters video. You can also get them in podcast form, audio only. Just go wherever you get your podcasts. And also, if you want to support our all-volunteer efforts, our mission, our content here at Justice Matters, feel free to go over to patreon.com where you can sign up to become a patron. And if you do, I'll send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. And I'll also let you know about the next annual Team Justice gathering. We just had the last one in D.C. a few weeks back. Um, And as always, friends, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.